Hey guys, so today I'm going to be eating like a Gilmore Girl for a day. I'm so excited. If you don't know, I love the show Gilmore Girls. I've seen it a jillion times. I just keep watching through it and it will never get boring. I got my Luke's mug, I got my Gilmore Girls shirt on. So I have meals and snacks planned because if you've seen Gilmore Girls, you know the Gilmore Girls, they eat everything all day, nothing healthy. But I am going to be healthifying this a little bit. Everything is not so unhealthy because my body just could not handle all that unhealthy stuff. I'm still going to be eating Gilmore Girl foods, but just kind of like Healthified. I'm testing out some recipes in this video as well. I'm pretty much homemaking everything except for dinner So that's also the opposite of Gilmore Girls because they love everything Frozen fast food everything like that So I think I'm gonna have to put on a backwards hat while I cook so that I'm like Luke because Luke is always cooking for them I know we're all quarantined. So I just thought maybe this would be something fun for y'all to watch This is something I can do in my house. I'm not making light of the situation, but I kind of am I hope that y'all are all being safe and smart and yeah, so so that's all I'm gonna address about that. I just thought this was the perfect time to do this because I'm in my house and the boys are gone this weekend. That's what we're gonna be doing. If you watch Gilmore Girls, let me know down below. Before I start this video, guess what I'm gonna be eating down below because if you watch Gilmore Girls, then you know. Please, Gilmore Girls lovers, let me know down below who you are so that we can talk about Gilmore Girls and how amazing it is and how much Jess should have been with Rory, but it's fine. And I know I'm gonna have stinking arguments in the comments. Please argue because I can see it always. It's at eight o'clock in the morning. Once again, not a Gilmore Girls thing, but we gotta get started early because we have to have a few hours between each meal so that we're actually hungry. Makes 14 pancakes. Me and my mom can not eat that much. I'm gonna half this. I'm just using Bisquick. This is what we have in our pantry. I do not feel like making actual pancakes. This is one thing that I actually will be cheating on. Luke would be making actual pancakes, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna do one cup of this, half a cup of milk and one egg, but I'm using almond milk because I don't eat dairy. Okay, I just finished breakfast. As you saw, I didn't make the eggs. I just didn't feel like it because I was hungry and I wanted to eat and I didn't feel like I would really be hungry for the eggs. So it's fine. Pancakes are really the iconic thing and obviously coffee. I will be honest, I'm gonna be drinking decaf coffee this whole time because I don't want to explode. If you watch my channel, you know I don't drink caffeinated coffee anymore because it gave me headaches, so. Breakfast was really good. The pancakes were so good. We watched an episode of Gilmore Girls. Coffee and pancakes are really good. I don't really ever have like coffee in the morning anymore. Obviously because it's not caffeinated. So like what's the point? I just have it whenever I want it. And I forgot how good a cup of coffee in the morning is. And I just have decaf, Dunkin' coffee, grounds. First cup of coffee done. Okay, now I'm going to start on lunch and I'm going to be making burgers, but I'm making sweet potato and black bean burgers from the Wholesome Meats cookbook. And I already prepped like all my ingredients yesterday. So like the sweet potato and the black beans and the rice and all that stuff. I prepped so that I wouldn't have to do anything today. So first I need to make the oat flour. Yes, this is like totally opposite of them because at one point in the show, like Luke goes out on a date with this girl and she takes him to a vegan place and he was like, that's not even real food. <laughs> this is like definitely not what the Gilmore Girls would do, but we're doing it because I'm trying to make healthy burgers. Hopefully this is half a cup, no more, no less. I'm just gonna go ahead and add everything to this bowl. I'll saute the onions in a second. If there's that much left, could I just, yeah, I'm just gonna add it. It's fine, if that's ready, like I should probably start doing the onions. So I have the onions right here. I know it's in a plastic bag. I normally don't use them, but my family still uses them. And there was an onion that wasn't finished in this bag, so I just, Got the onion ready that was in this bag and put it back in this bag. I thought it was better than like 
just throwing it away before using it more than one time. And it says with a tablespoon of oil. I always use avocado oil. Now we're gonna put the onions in the pan. It says to do the tamari as well. Let's open this bad boy up. I've never had tamari before. Maddie Limburner literally uses this all the time. We shall see. These burgers are actually, I'm supposed to put barbecue sauce on them, like make a barbecue sauce and put it on them. But I just wanted like a classic burger. I'm just not gonna do the barbecue basting. Hopefully they'll be good like that. I guess I could prep my ingredients over here while it's kind of cooking over there. I have my oat flour already in here. I already mashed like half of the beans and then I have a cup and a half of cooked brown rice right here. And that's a cup of cooked black beans. Oh, this smells so good. And then this is two cups of sweet potatoes mashed. I just baked them in the oven and then scooped it out. Look at that yumminess. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to add the spices to this too. But let's get this kind of mixed too. I already have all the spices in here mixed together. And it's cumin, smoked paprika, car garlic powder, coconut sugar, but I actually used brown sugar just because I didn't feel like wasting my good coconut sugar <laughs> on these burgers. And then salt, pepper, and the nutritional yeast. That's pretty much all mixed. Stuff. Now I'm gonna put the spices in there. Look how good that looks. And it smells so good. So let's just plop those in. I kind of feel like I want to put this in the fridge and let it firm up because I don't know. This is like very airy. Let's put it up for a sec. This week I made things so that I would have like healthier options. So I made some pop tarts the top two have icing on them and they're not that good honestly i kind of want to eat one the ones without icing are the best lorelei gilmore would not approve of these as pop tarts but they're gonna do i made donuts as well from this cookbook and they're okay look at that i made pop tarts mm. but these remind me more of toaster strudels than pop tarts and if you think of them that way they're really good <laughs> Eating a donut while doing some homework, just like the Gimmelers would do. And also having another Pop-Tart because I eat when I procrastinate. <laughs> Yum. So bad. frozen pizza to me. I want some apple sauce so bring it to mushroom and probably so good in the fire roasted vegetable. Yeah this tastes just like frozen pizza. It's taking me back in your back. Alright guys so I, I didn't end the video last night because it was really late whenever we ate and then we watched a movie because that's what the Gilmore girls would do. We watched Sleepless in Seattle and I have never seen that before and it was really good. I am really excited that I actually did this video. Every time I try and do a full day of a video it doesn't end up working out but it worked out and I'm so glad and I'm so excited for y'all to see it. Obviously you already did by this point and maybe not many people watched it but I don't really care because I had so much fun filming it and I know my mom did too. So just a recap of the meals so breakfast pancakes i was gonna do eggs too but i forgot lunch we had the burgers the sweet potato and black bean burgers and they were so so good they had a bit of a mushy texture so that was kind of eh but they tasted really good yeah i have a lot of leftovers of the burgers and then for dinner we had the diet pizza which was actually so good i was like so surprised i really was expecting to hate it so i want to as you saw like we kind of had that conversation i kind of want to try like either the fire roasted vegetable one or like the spinach and mushroom one i feel like those would be really good i was like taken back to my childhood because i used to eat frozen pizza with applesauce all the time i know gilmore girls don't eat applesauce but that just made it. I was like, oh my goodness, this is literally my childhood. It was really good and I was really impressed and excited. It's not something you be eating a lot, obviously, but it will be a nice little treat here and there. So yeah, let me know down below any other TV shows you want me to do. I know that I want to do Friends next. I don't know when that will be. If that will be during this quarantine period, I'm pretty sure it will be just because we got all the time on our hands. <laughs> I really hope y'all are doing well and I hope this brightened your day a little bit. I'm not ignoring what's happening in the world right now. I'm just trying to make light of it and just have a little place for you to escape to and also please please leave video recommendations down below girl i am struggling i really hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did i would love to be subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up it means so much to me thank you so much for watching bye